These young students are following in the footsteps of their hero, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. Russia's most powerful man is also its most famous judo player. And that's why I've decided to start my journey into Putin's Russia here at Moscow's most famous judo academy. Russians just can't get enough of seeing Mr. Putin doing this. These children are Putin's generation. All born after he came to power. They're a symbol of the new Russia he claims to have created. Strong, disciplined, self-confident. As I am about to find out, at the hands of Magomed, European heavyweight champion. Putin rose from the bottom to the top. He walked the streets and did sport just like us. In the 90s, the Mafia walked the streets and killed people. Now we have the rule of law. People see Putin doing judo and want their kids to have that discipline too. Vladimir Putin is arguably the most popular modern politician Russia has ever had. And he has certainly brought a greater sense of stability and prosperity here. But when he came to power 10 years ago, it was on the promise of modernizing Russia, of entrenching democracy and the rule of law, of turning Russia into a modern European country. And that simply hasn't happened. Instead, Vladimir Putin has done something much more Russian, much more in keeping with Russian rulers since the time of Ivan the Terrible. Instead of creating a modern Russian democracy, Putin has modernized Russian autocracy. <laughs> to find out how Putin's modern autocracy works, I've come to the village of Vernaya Vere, 500 kilometers east of Moscow. In July, this village was completely destroyed in the worst forest fires in a hundred years. When Vladimir Putin came to view the destruction, he was met by this rare display of public outrage. This government is terrible, shouts one woman. You left us to burn, shouts another. Then Putin, the good Tsar, makes a promise. Every house will be rebuilt, he says. And to make sure that promise is kept, Putin orders webcams installed across the village, connected directly to his office in Moscow. It's less than two months since this village was completely destroyed by fire. Almost nothing survived. Just a few buildings, like that cottage over behind me here. And yet... Less than two months on, the village is being completely rebuilt. Some of these houses are nearly ready for people to move back in. By any standards, this has been exceptionally fast. By Russian standards, it's almost unbelievable. What's happening here could be called the Putin effect. The pace of work is frenetic. Everyone competing to make sure they don't disappoint the boss. So it started up there, from that end and came down through the village. When the flames came, Svetlana and her mother had only minutes to flee. They lost nearly everything. Now they've come back to inspect work on what will be their new home. Just like Putin said, everything he promised is being done, Nina tells me. I don't think the local government would have coped. But Russia is the biggest country in the world, with 11 time zones and a population of 140 million people. All the webcams in the world can't keep track of everything that goes on here. It is beyond the view of the good Tsar that you will find the other side of Putin's modern autocracy, in small towns like Stovo. The landmarks here are familiar to almost every town in Russia. But the drab apartment buildings are not the only thing common to places like this. So is a growing feeling that Russia is becoming 
a police state. The level of police violence in Russia today is truly extraordinary. And because of that, many people go in fear of the police. They believe that they can act with impunity. In this town, in the last few months, there have been two reported cases of extreme police violence. One of them, a 50-year-old man, was taken from his apartment, taken to a local police station, and then tortured for hours. What happened in this building is not an aberration. The story Pavel Sedov is about to tell me will be familiar to thousands of other Russians. So is the fear he and his wife now live with. She is still reluctant to let him speak. The police accused Pavel of killing one of his best friends. And then the beating began. They were getting pleasure out of doing this. Towards the end, they raped me with a stick. Everyone passing by would kick me, as if I was an animal. Pavel, can you describe for me what it's like for you now, having had this experience? How do you feel when you walk down the street, when you see a policeman? It's hard for me to talk about this. I live through those five hours, but I can't sleep at night now. I can't even get drunk properly to forget what those sadists did to me. Prosecutors have refused to investigate Pavel's case. TV stations are banned from telling his story. In Putin's Russia, there is now almost no way for people like this to take on the state. Far to the west, 10-year-old Marina is playing a tune for her father, who she hasn't seen in two years. Her mother, Yulia, is now the head of the family. Struggling to raise her children without her husband. Yulia's husband, Oleg, had built up a successful business importing chemicals from China. The whole family was prospering. But then she said a competitor accused Oleg of smuggling. And suddenly he was sucked into the impenetrable quagmire that is Russia's legal system. Lawyers in Russia can't defend their clients. Laws in Russia don't work. We have them on paper, but they don't work. A good lawyer is one that can bribe the judge or the cops. With no powerful friends to turn to, Oleg was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Have you changed the way you think about Russia because of what has happened to you? Жить и воспитывать детей я в этом государстве не хочу. I don't want to raise my children in this country. I don't want them to see how many people die in jail. But it's the reality, and my children are living in it. I regret living in Russia. For Russia to continue prospering when the oil runs out, it needs people like Yulia and Oleg, young, smart, and ambitious. Instead, they become victims of a system that Vladimir Putin has helped to create.